When choosing casting materials, one of the most important things to consider will be work time of a given system. This is often a confusing and difficult task for folks new to mold making and casting, with important ramifications if you get it wrong. Let's go over some things to consider to help take some of the mystery out of materials. First, you need to consider the size of the part. Is it small, medium, or large? If it is small, you can likely get away with something quicker. This is where you have typical fast cast systems in the 2-5 to five minute working time. If your part is large, you don't want to run out of time mixing, degassing, and pouring. And the more material you mix in a container, the quicker the reaction due to exotherm. Viscosity of the material has an impact on choosing a work time. If a material is thin, you can fill a mold easier and quicker. If it is a little thicker, mixing, degassing obviously takes a little longer. But if you have thin wall sections in a closed mold, you might need a little more time to ensure it can be filled before the material starts to gel. So considering the material's viscosity may affect which work time you choose. But don't choose materials solely on viscosity. Some systems with super low viscosity suffer from poor physical properties, and your part may need to be extra tough. Some systems with slightly higher viscosities can be dealt with if you set up your mold correctly and you have the right equipment. Then you get to reap the benefits of using a higher performance material. Production requirements. Do you need to cycle many parts in a day to keep up with production? You're going to want something faster and you need to make sure your mold is set up correctly to allow material to get in there quick. This could mean using a tall funnel to let gravity help force material through the mold, or you could look at dispense equipment. If you aren't in a giant rush or you're new to casting, you can use something a little slower and concentrate on doing all the steps right. Lastly, if you're roto casting or slush casting into a mold, you typically use a faster work time system. Since casting materials cure slower in thinner cross sections, you don't want to be chasing drips and runs for 10 minutes when you could have used a faster system. That's it for now. Let us know if you have any questions or suggestions for tech tip topics. Thanks for watching. Visit our website to shop BJB's high quality casting and mold making materials. Be sure to subscribe to our popular YouTube channel and follow us on social media to learn more about bone making and casting. BJB, continue to take the mystery out of materials.